for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I was recently given a Dart Zone Max Solo, as well as some replacement barrels for it, by Xbox Games. And I'm gonna take a look at them. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Solo, it is a svelte little folding, single shot, bottom prime. It's basically a Dart Zone Pro Jolt. Um, break action, like I said, it opens up there so you can load a dart in that way. Locks in place, has a release there. Bottom prime, very nice. Very svelte little number. But it currently fires, you know, half darts. It comes with bamboo pro darts. Very, very nice. And uh, what kind of stock numbers does this thing get? I'm curious, because I have no idea. 115. 115 from this svelte little number. But we have some replacement barrel options. We have an inline clip, which I assume holds two. Yeah, so it's two before you have to reload, which is nice. You could probably also load like Valken rounds and it'd probably shotgun them. Uh, we have a long barrel, a brass barrel here. I don't know how much more performance that's going to give us, but I mean to find out. And then we have Mega. And having a Mega Blaster that small would be pretty cool, honestly. I want to see what kind of performance it gets. So we're going to open this up and we're going to swap the barrels for fun. Oh, it does have a safety. Interesting. Fascinating. Anyway, here we go. All right. Still locks down. Still locks up. <clears throat> Looks like we're good to go. Breath. Let's see what kind of performance it gets with the stock spring. Oh. I seem to have pinched a spring. But I am getting 130 now, so even with the stock spring, it is an improvement. I'm wondering what spring I've got clamped in there, though. Ah. The catch spring. There we go. Right, let's try that again. All right. Let's try this again. So we gained 15 FPS, didn't have to upgrade the spring. I don't know if I'd want to upgrade the spring. I think 130 is a perfectly acceptable number. Right, we're going to give it a couple of shots and see if I can hit anything at all. That has way more power than I was expecting. What it lacks is any kind of sight. Doesn't even have iron sights on it. Alright, I can hit the dart net now. Can I hit a target? Oh, ho, ho, very close. Alright, let's try a different barrel. Let's try the inline clip barrel this time. Alright, let's see what kind of numbers we get with this. Loading two darts. Let's go. Only getting in the mid 80s with the inline clip, but you don't have to reload as often, so maybe that's what you're looking for. Let's uh, let's see how it actually shoots on the range real quick. Let's give it a go. Oh, well, I can actually it, it aims straighter. It definitely has a lot less power, but it does aim nice and straight. Oh, so close. Oh, no good. Yeah, you'd have to do the flick to seed it, but uh, not bad, not bad. But I really want to see that mega barrel, so let's let's do that. All right, I'm gonna grab a mega dart and chrono this thing. It does not want to chrono, it keeps giving me errors, but I'm getting around 50, 55. So it's definitely much less powerful. I'm wondering if it's not getting as good of a seal. I don't know, I think it should be sealing just fine. But, uh, we're gonna go plank with it anyway. Here we go! Can I hit anything? Well, I almost got there. I hit the back of the first dart. That is impressive. That was not impressive. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely doesn't have the power that I'd like, but still, as a last-ditch holdout Mega Blaster, it's not bad, but I think a Big Shock actually has better performance. So, gonna go back to that brass barrel. That one's the one I liked. One nice thing about this is you don't have to breech load it with the Mega. It's muzzle load with Mega. But, uh, I think I'm gonna stick with the brass. Anyway, if you've got yourself a Solo and are looking for some alternative barrel options, this one has Picatinny rail. Uh, that's not been fully cleaned. Um, so did the, uh, the inline, I think, had Picatinny. The brass did not. Uh, anyway, Xbox Games. Links will be in the description. I may have to get another one of these just so I can have different barrel options without having to take it apart. Anyway, thanks for the stuff. Thank you guys for watching.